Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video and well, back with a quick reply to a video Tom Hyren District, another member of the vinyl community, shot yesterday as a reply to my last video. So uh, watch out for Tom's video, which is linked down in the description below. Um, Tom is a longtime member of the VC, I guess, uh, lives in Portland, Oregon right now. I met him when I was there in Portland in 2019. So. He was the first like non-German member of the VC I met ever and uh, yeah, we had a great evening and stuff and uh, he like uh, replied to my video yesterday because I showed a record that had like a vinyl mailer as a kind of cover uh, artwork and stuff and he came up with a box released on several labels I guess one of the those labels the RRR label uh, and the record he showed had like a big I guess a six or a six vinyl box and a big vinyl mailer which had like a proper artwork and stuff and he came up with the question if anyone else had vinyl that was uh, that had the vinyl mailer actually as a cover so uh, I'm not sure if this one counts but I got something not an album but a seven inch actually which is uh, yeah a seven inch that is in a cover which is an envelope for mailing out vinyl, so I'm not sure if that counts. And uh, what qualifies this as a cover is this stamp, um, which is the logo of the label, uh, a P, which stands for plucking music. And uh, apart from that stamp, that is like a kind of faded stamp right now because the record was released in 1999. Uh, this is a normal vinyl uh, or like envelope vinyl mailer, whatever you want to call it, but. Uh, it's one of those who have this like bubble wrap in there and um, yeah the label is called Plugin Music was uh, located in Hamburg in Berlin but only released like one seven inch back in the day by a guy called Glanda who also was the head of the label and still uh, I guess I got this as a promo um, they have the original press sheet in there which is uh, a little bit yellowish right now and on the flip side they have like a contact number and a contract email address and also a mention of the two record stores this record was available which was otaku records uh, at the time which was the store i worked at or i had started to work at like in early 99 late 98 and uh, another record store in hamburg and otherwise they had no distribution the record comes in like the like in a kind of protective but very i don't know what the word is in uh in English but in German we call this knistern, this sound um, and yeah this is like a protective thing and the label looks like this actually it's a 7 inch record that runs on 33 rpm which is also stated on the flip side or on the info side actually which is also all the information and like uh, an email address a phone number where people could like call and stuff and get some more info plug and play is the title the artist is glanda and the label is called plug and music uh yeah well suitable that's on 33 because uh, the music on there is uh, a kind of like dry polyrhythmic uh kind of abstract and a little bit muffled minimal techno which um resembles kind of uh, well if you are into like minimal techno and if you are into like electronic music in general think of a plastic man like the alias run by richie horton back in the days but slow this down a little so it's very like i don't know it's not necessarily dance floor music but i would say at about like 110 112 bpm maybe and combine this uh, like dry hypnotic polyrhythmic plastic man attitude with uh, stuff that came out on cologne based labels like studio back in the days um, and you got like a mixture of those elements and this is what they are so not necessarily prime time minimal techno but more like for abstract leaning like small club situations or like warm up sets and stuff very interesting i still uh sometimes i still play this like in radio sets and stuff i haven't played this in the club for a while but um well, who has played in the club for a while, like uh, in this situation. So uh, yeah, this is the record that I have like in mind. I have another one which sits in an envelope with more like a stencil. Maybe I'm gonna show this later, but uh, 
This is one record I got, which sits in a kind of vinyl mailer. So I will. There's still dust sitting on there. I haven't had this in, in my hands for a while. So I hope this counts um, because of the stamp and stuff. Very DIY, as Tom loves it, I guess. And uh, yeah, this is like a quick vinyl community reply. And let's make this a thread, kind of. Uh, if anyone else has like records sitting in envelopes or in like vinyl mailers, like proper cardboard mailers and stuff, show them to us and like make this a vinyl community like special cover thread. Uh, I'm going to contribute another one to this one like later, but um, this is it for my now, Base Junkie out. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like this one, uh, you know, check my other videos, check Tom's video, which is down in the description box and stuff. And uh, let us know about your strange pieces in your collection. Base Junkie out. See you later.